My mom's car has a problem. If you've been watching my channel long enough, you'll remember this video. Hmm. Uh-huh. We gotta fix that. One new tire and rim. I put the left front that was good in the back because you should always put the best tires on the front. So here's the other new tire and rim. If you guys want to know, this is what she hit right here. She was forced off the road right here and was forced into that, which blew both tires. So to fix that problem, we took wheels from this car and put it on that car. I just did her oil change and I noticed the problem. Her tires are down to the cords. I swapped out my old wheels and tires on that car and I put them in the shed. Okay, and here we are all done my old wheels are now on my mom's car now if you look at the wheel angle here and you look at my wheel angle here they're essentially the same car but that's got a real big problem so this is the second new tire i put in this car and uh i'm gonna show you why this car keeps eating up tires got this tire off of facebook marketplace for 60 bucks brand new i don't know the guy works at a tire shop or something but anyway here's the problem something we overlooked when I first put the tires on this car. Do you see the problem? Do you see the problem? Do you see the problem? I do. This is completely bent, this entire strut tower. So when she hit that curb, it pushed everything this way. I never noticed it until recently. So we're gonna put new strut towers in this car. We're gonna start by soaking everything in PB Blaster. Just let it soak. Every bolt we gotta take out, just, just soak. Go under the hood and take all these clips out right here, all the way across. Now we have access to that bolt right there. Then we're gonna undo this, undo that, pop this out of right here and take out this sensor right back there. These are an absolute bitch. So I got my three foot long pipe, which makes it very, very easy to <clears throat> just break it free. And then once you break it free, take your DeWalt and it comes right off. Then once you pull out your bolts, your caliper and everything, your, the whole assembly is just gonna sort of just separate. Then we move to the top. Then you just go one, two. Once you get number three out, you just wiggle her and she'll come right out. Let me, let me uh, put the camera down. And she's out. And as you can see how tweaked that is compared to this one, that'll definitely cause alignment issues. Can't believe I overlooked that. And putting everything together is the exact same opposite as taking it apart. And this side is done. And there we are. All done. Going to go to the other side and finish up and she'll be good. All right. Have a great day. Job well done. Peace.